Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another review video for you. Today we'll be looking at the IRC SU-031BG Laminate Soprano Ukulele. Let's go ahead and go over this. For starters here, you can see that this has an IRC uh, logo that is laser etched into the headstock along with this little gecko uh, artwork here as well. And I should say that you can see that this has a veneer of mahogany on the headstock. And this instrument also has a solid mahogany neck. Right. You can see that this does have a joint here at the heel, as well as a scarf joint here at the neck. This instrument has a, uh, a laminate sape or a sapili body and a laminate spruce top. And this fingerboard is described as a composite wood as is the, the bridge. <clears throat> From looking at this instrument here at the, uh, the sound hole and the rosette, you can see that the same sort of gecko that is laser etched in the headstock is also laser etched in as the rosette for this instrument, which is kind of interesting. Looking at the inside of this instrument, you can see that it does have uh, notched kerfing inside, and I can see that the, the brace in there, or the braces, are um, tucked under the, the kerfing. That is to say, they notched out the kerfing and tucked the braces in there so they're good and solid. They're not going to be coming up. Again, the, the body of this is described as laminate sapele, which I understand is sort of in the mahogany family. It comes from West Africa. And you can see it does have a nice striped look to it there. It really is a, a nice grain on that. And this is sort of a satin finish on this instrument. Okay. I should say that the nut and saddle on this are described as being plastic. On the neck here, you can see that it does have position markers on the fretboard, as well as position markers here on the player's side. And from looking at this fretboard, um, you can see that it, while it is not a bound fretboard, I cannot even feel the fret edges on this, so there are no sharp fret edges on this at all. I don't think I mentioned the tuners on this, but you can see these are just basic open gear tuners. Uh, nothing fancy going on. I've tuned this up a few days ago, and it's been holding the tune uh, just fine. I checked the string action on this instrument using my string action ruler, and at the first fret, the action is 0.25 millimeters, and at the 12th fret, it is 3.25 millimeters. Some folks might that might like that a little lower, but it's certainly in the playable range. So I looked this instrument all over looking for problems with uh, construction or finish. And I should say that I found no pooling of finish anywhere. I found no scratches anywhere on the fretboard. And the only thing I can find that might be perceived as a flaw or problem with this is here at the bridge. When I take this piece of paper, you may be able to see that I can get this paper underneath of the, the corner of the uh, bridge there, but especially here, maybe about a quarter of an inch under the corner of that bridge. And along the back here, right there, I can just get it just slightly under the bridge there. So what does that tell me? You might say, well, that means that this bridge is lifting. And I don't know if it's lifting, or maybe when this got uh, clamped down, it wasn't quite clamped down there along the back of it. But I'll tell you, it does not seem to impact the sound at all right now. And I don't really have any great fears of that bridge lifting off in the near future. But let's go ahead and listen to this again. Uh, you heard this a bit during the introduction, but I'll go ahead and play it again here for you.
So there you have it, another sound sample. I should say that the only uh, accessory that this uh, instrument comes with is a gig bag. And I'll show it to you here. Basically, this is like a like a plastic sort of a gig bag with like a Cordura or like a like a fabric covering over it with the IRC logo. This particular gig bag does not have a shoulder strap, but it does have a little carrying handle. So basically, this will keep the dust off it, and you can use it to carry it, although it doesn't have a shoulder strap. So overall, I would say this is a nice little ukulele. And I'll tell you, I do I believe I prefer that bright tone of the laminate spruce top. And I would say that this particular instrument really likes that high E string. That's the string that really rings out the most with the spruce top. For full disclosure, I should say that IRC did send this instrument to me at no cost to me for the purposes of doing this review. So I hope you found today's review of this IRC SU031BG laminate spruce top ukulele helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of the instruments that I review, as well as videos of my builds, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.